So here they're asking us to solve a quadratic inequality. So inequality meaning there's like a greater than or less than symbol instead of an equation. All right, but let's think about what they're really asking then. They want to know when is all this greater than or equal to zero. So one method, and we'll do this first, and then I'll show you something that's possibly quicker, um, is think about, well, where is this equal to zero? Well, it's already factored, so it's pretty easy to see that it equals zero at negative four and at two, right? When this piece is zero and when this piece is zero. And then think, okay, is equal to zero part of the solution? Yeah, we wanna know where it's greater than or equal to zero. So we can do filled in circles at two and negative four. So those points will be part of our solution. Then the question is, do points over here work or in here or over here? And so one thing you could do is test points. Pick something that's smaller than negative four is in this area and see if it works or not. So let's picture like if we put negative five into this function, negative five, we'll write down what our test points are gonna be. So if we put negative five, this part would say negative one because negative five plus four, and this would say negative seven. And so when I multiply those, I'm gonna get a positive number. So that means all in here will be positive. All right, then let's pick something in between. Zero is always a good candidate. So I pick something in between. If I put zero, I get four times negative two. So I get something that's negative. Now, why am I not doing the whole number? I'm just doing positive negative. Cause see how we're trying to find out when this is greater than or equal to zero. So if it's greater than zero, that means when is it positive? So, oh, I can see it's positive here. It's not positive here. It doesn't really even matter what the numbers are in between there, just whether it's positive or negative. And pick something bigger than two, say like four. So I get eight times six. So it's also positive over here. So then I can answer my final question. When is it greater than or equal to zero? Well, it's equal to zero here. It's bigger than zero this way because that's positive, And it's also bigger than zero this way. All right, so the test points always work for sure, but maybe something a little quicker that you could do since we've been working on this previously or at the same time is think about if you were trying to graph a quadratic equation. If you graph a quadratic equation, it looks like a parabola. And so how do I know this is quadratic first off? Because notice if I start foiling, the first term I'm gonna get is x squared. And so I know that makes it a quadratic. All right, so think, I know we're at equal zero. So I know my x-intercepts essentially are two and negative four. And then the only other thing I really need to think about is, does this open up or down? Well, notice how it's x times x is positive x squared. You need a negative out front for it to open down. So I know it's a parabola that opens upward. So it looks something like this. All right, so how can I get my whole answer from this? Well, notice they were asking when it's greater than or equal to zero. So here's where it's equal to zero. And notice all of this is where the function or the output is bigger than zero, like one, two, three, four, five, the positive y values. So I can see this is when it's greater than zero. So my solution looks like all of this on the x. So that's another way without the test points is you can just think about when it opens up and down and say, oh, well, it's positive here and here. It's negative in between those two.